All right, this is a pretty fucking momentous day because we are finally at the end of the fucking fries run. I don't know why I've dedicated so much time and effort into this completely pointless and fruitless exercise. I actually know exactly why I'm doing it, but you don't need to know. All you need to do is just shut the fuck up and enjoy it, all right? And if you really enjoy it, before I turn to today's entry, I would like to direct your attention to the Super Suck Store because for some reason, these two very fine pieces of collectible psychedelic pop artworks have been sitting in the store for like uh, over two weeks, and which is unusual because oftentimes these things sell like be immediately before I can even officially promote them. And in this case, they're just languishing. It's supersuckstore.com. And we have two. We have the Funyuns flavor. This is the actual bag of Funyuns mounted on a nice piece of wood with a custom hand-painted resin bootleg action figure by me, the Suck Lord. And then we also have the Kalbi Japanese onion rings, which was one was the bag of chips that led into this little fry experience. So if you if you are a fan of the Suck Lord and you've been enjoying enjoying this little daily ritual that we've been sharing together and you would like to contribute something tangible and get yourself a nice little fucking prize in the process, then go to supersuckstore.com and purchase this stuff because as you know, I'm not getting paid for this. I was at one point, but now I'm not. All right, so with that out of the way, <clears throat> let's focus on today's bag. And this is really quite fascinating. This is actually one of the first ones I've got and got me interested in maybe doing a fries run because I have never seen anything like this. It's from Lay's China and they are fries and they're seaweed flavored. But what's really striking besides just that and is just this bag. What kind of, what is this? It's like a lot of, a lot of production and design and engineering that went into this bag. It's like a Ziploc, I think, or is it? Uh, I can't tell, no, but it's like, what is, what is with this bag? I've never seen anything like this. I bought this at the little, like, uh, Hong Kong style supermarket down the block. And this is odd. Oh, I get it. It's filled with a bunch of smaller bags. Ah, that's interesting. Damn, these are tiny. Look at that. I had no idea. I guess that makes sense. So yeah, I, I, I copped these at the little, the, the little Chinese grocery store here in New York City, Chinatown. This is not looking at all like a sufficient portion. Interesting, tiny, but full. These are much more regular shaped. Look at that, almost like a crescent. These are like, look like actual, I'm not sure what's going on here. Unlike anything else that we've had in this series. Isn't that a good thing? Who the hell knows at this point? I would almost say that these are actually just sliced potatoes. Wow, how about that? An actual fucking potato fry that's just a piece of a potato and not some reformulated, reconstituted, shaped fucking corn cornmeal potato powder up there. I mean, it tastes a lot more wholesome and substantial. Again, a little too goddamn sweet. Why? Why do you do that? It ruins everything on so many occasions. But, it's notable. I mean, it doesn't taste like fucking seaweed. Nori. Nori seaweed. Why you, why you did that, I don't know. You think there would be other more interesting flavors. Should I do another bag? Where have I heard that before? <laughs> yeah, let's do one more bag. Call the guy. All right, so. One complaint, ones are a little too small. Another complaint, I'm not there too sweet. And the final complaint is like, oh God, this is horrible. What am I doing? 